This is Landrider here to show you how to run Windows on Linux with the help of a program called VirtualBox. The same program used to test out operating systems in a virtual machine can now be used as an emulator to run Windows programs. Now, let's get started, step by step. Right, now let's go load up our browser, which in my case I use Firefox. Now let's type in uh, VirtualBox. A-L-E-O-X You now just click on that or enter a Google search, either one will work. Now let's go to the first link, then to download. Okay, Linux users, use, use that link. So click on that right there. I don't know if you want to go to another operating system, but either way, click on that. Now, choose your distribution. Any distribution that you have, go use them. But in my case, um, I'm just going to use Ubuntu, this version that I have, a 32-bit. And there's a 64 and a 32, so pick the one that your system has, and uh, from there we'll save the box. Which, here it is. We open it. Alright. This is how it should look like. Which, this should be an uh, easy way for you to install, or for me, or whoever. Which, this which we install package type in your password whatever however you set up your password and we and then we click ok and now we let the package load which might take a while oh great now next up we're going to go to our menu and we're going to type in which it shows Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is the one that we that we have uh, to install. Now I recommend putting this to show you on your favorites, so it'll make it easier to access it. All right then. Uh, yada 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 yada, and just pull out this and agree. So anyways, we just go next, type in a random name or the name you prefer to put your operating system, which I'm just going to put test OS and select your windows. So you click on next and the memory base, uh, this one, you have to choose on how much memory you want. We're going to create a new hard drive, which go create new hard disk. And next, and then we click next, pick this feature. So yes, you, you decide how much you gigabytes or megabytes you want for your hard drive. Now click next, and we're finished. And we click on finish too. But wait, we, we won't just start right there. We're gonna have to go to our settings. Now let's go to system. Motherboard. And uh, let's see, we go to processor. Which, you, which we're gonna, which depending how many CPUs you have in your computer, which the standard should be one CPU. Uh, acceleration, uh, you don't have to. Now display settings. Now we're going to set up uh, to the highest, to the highest if you have a fast computer. But if, but you also gotta know how much uh, memory does your video card hold, so you don't, uh, well, uh, override that one as well. And we're going to enable 3D acceleration. And if you want, just turn on that on if you want. Now for storage, you go to your test OS, and this is what you're gonna use. Maybe not. USBs, uh, this is totally, totally up to you. So if you have any USBs you want to set up, uh, feel free to just add, add, uh, add one, and then select any of them depending on which USB device you have, and it's. 
and just click on whatever, whatever you'll put. Because mine's, I'm very sure my devices are very different from the ones you guys have. And last is the share folder. This is what we need in order to share our files from Linux to Windows. Now, let's add a share folder. Okay, let's look, go for a folder path, click on other, and uh, just choose. Just go from a username, and there you have it. You have your shared folder. Now, let's click OK. And now you are ready to set up your operating system. Now, let's click on start. Now, this is the first time running it. Uh, we'll just click on next. We're going to mount our your CD drive, DVD or Blu-ray drive. You might want to have those mounted if you want to install your operating system from a CD. And we finished. Now let let we're gonna let it start. After you put in your uh, CD drive, uh, make sure you have your CD device mounted to to the first one, which is also depends what kind of uh, drive you mounted. Now we restart and let's press F12 and then press C. And depending on your operating system, uh, just don't show message again. And click okay. De uh, depending on your operating system, it will load way differently. So we're gonna have. I guess we're gonna have to skip a few things in here because you probably you probably should be able to figure this out by now. I hope. All right then. And after skipping all that. In the meantime, you might want to type in your username. Any name should work out. In my case, I'm just going to put mine as a demonstration. Uh, password is optional, and uh, and you're pretty much done. So type in password if you want. So Mike, so let's click next. Uh, I just for the heck of it, I'm just going to type in whatever I want to type in. Alright, we just go next. Uh, ask. Let's, well, you can choose either ones of these, but I prefer to, uh, prefer this option. And time, is go ahead and, and adjust it if you want. And you just click next. And then, uh, we just start. And we'll let, uh, Windows got to install something else too, so um, here's what we do, let's just go, well I've already installed the guest now, but let me take it to the steps, we just have to press control to get out, uh, we just go to device, install guest add-on, gotta let that wait, and if it doesn't pop up, on, and just in case it doesn't pop up, you can always go to the start menu, but right now this one did, so... Let's click on uh, this one. Okay. Just click next. Agree. Next. Um, check directory support. And install. Alright then. After rebooting, now let's try, try out the add-on. Press Control L. Let's click on Command Prompt or look for it on on all programs, accessories, and command prompt on Windows XP Vista and 7. So we just click on that. And after that, let's type in net use space x this uh, space box Yarn slash shared. Yes. You gotta type this all down. And wait a minute. Ne the network name cannot be found. Oh wait. Wait wait wait. This this problem can be solved. I don't know I don't know if this if this will might work on your operating systems because in case it does work then you might be done and over with, but some the reason why it shows up is because something is not set up within the networks, but we can fix that. Like, either on your Windows Vista or 7, 
right click on this icon right here. Uh, let's go to Network and Sharing Center. Or I might have a different one. Because if. Now, let's um, view computer and devices. Let's click, let's click on this. If it ever turns off, turn on network discovery and file sharing. Uh, yes, you wanna do this. And there you have, and, and it should show something like this. Virtual PC. It should show this. And if it doesn't, then uh, it might be a little different. But as long as you're able to access this. And if that doesn't, and if that still doesn't work, and it doesn't want to show in any way, let's try something else. Okay, let's go to Maps Network. Let's assign your drive to any of these following ones. Either on, on Vistar 7, possibly XP. Let's, let's pick a random one. Um... Let's go all the way down. I just want to have H. Uh, let's browse network virtual box. No, you don't need this. I mean, you need this one. Click on uh, click on this and OK. And there you have it. Let's go to open. Let's open your local disk let's go sir right here users or uh, do documents and settings which, whichever it's called where you put, you put your account let's let's go to your account the one you're gonna use which I have mine click on that and right click properties location we're gonna find the target um, if that does not work let's just uh, Let's just click on, on move. Go to computer and let's just click on desktop, select folder, and there we have it. Apply and just click on yes. And there you and whatever you have whatever icons you have on your um, Linux it will show on here. That's it. We're done. You finally have Windows and Linux synced together. That means you'll be able to use your Windows operating system to do stuff on it that you can't really do on a Linux. And, of course, you have a better alternative than using Wine or Crossover. So that way, you'll be able to run certain programs that wouldn't really run on, the, on either one. Until then, we're done for here. And, hope you have fun with your emulators. And, of course, this is Mad Live 7.